Hey everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One, here to inspire and empower your wig journey. Today I'm going to give a presentation on one of the newest styles by Rene of Paris in their orchid collection. This one is called Liana. I have it in two brand new colors by Rene of Paris. What I'm wearing here is the Cafe Macchiato, but we're also going to unbox the Cherry Merlot. We're gonna take a look at similar styles, even a wavy straight sister style option for this. All the details coming up. I purchased the featured wig styles from Wig Studio One. You can find this and all of the other Renee of Paris styles at Wig Studio One. I'll attach direct product links below this video. If you go down to the description box and expand it, I'll attach the links there. If you click on the link, it'll take you directly to this style at Wig Studio One. You can check out all of the colors and the pricing. We invite you to shop at Wig Studio One. So if you have any questions for us, don't hesitate to reach out to support at wigstudio1.com. And remember, all Renee of Paris styles are an automatic 30% off at checkout with Wig Studio One. Also visit us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And Liana is a mid-length, kind of a choppy, wavy bob style with bangs and beautiful feather cut layers. Now this color is called Cafe Macchiato. And this is a brand new color for Renee of Paris in their orchid collection. So let's go ahead and break this down and then we'll get into some of the specs for Liana. So the Cafe Macchiato is basically a light brown. You'll also see a little bit of medium brown in there and then some warm honey blonde. All of that is on a darker brown root. So it is a rooted color. There's a lot of dimension here and there's just enough blonde here to satisfy, I think, a lot of the blonde lovers out there. This is a really warm color. So the browns are more golden and that honey blonde is actually a very warm tone as well. So Liana is a part of the Orchid Collection by Renee of Paris. And when I think of the Orchid Collection, I think they're really fun styles. They're really fun to wear. They're typically more affordable as well. So uh, this particular style, I think it's around $140 retail as of the date of this filming. After the discount is applied at Wig Studio One, a 30% discount, that brings it down to around $100. I feel like that's a really nice value for everything that you're getting with this style. So let's jump right into the specs real quick. So we've got about a three and a half inch bang area here. That is just the perfect length to just whisk over the eyebrow on most people, depending on the length of your forehead. But remember, you can also adjust how far back or forward the cap lays to um, adjust the bang length. You could always trim these a bit if you wanted as well. The overall length on this is between 11 and 12 inches. So we're looking at an 11 inch crown that meets with a six inch nape to, um, to form about an 11 to 12 inch total style length. Now this weighs about three and a half ounces. So already you can tell it's a really nice lightweight style. It's a completely machine made traditional cap by Rene of Paris. And we're gonna take a look at the inside of that cap when we do the unboxing. So this texture, it just reminds me of, of air dried waves. Have you ever had a, a human hair wig and washed it out and set it on a wig stand to dry and it kind of dries into those waves? This is what that reminds me of. This is a texture that isn't going anywhere. I mean, you could literally comb or brush this out and you're still going to have all of this lovely wave. This is a regular synthetic wig. It is not heat friendly. Each one of these fibers is very fine, dry, and light, and feathery in texture. And the density on this one is a really nice, lightweight density as well. I always love it when I can present more than one piece. First of all, we get to take a look at two colors, but in addition to that, we can see it right out of the box and we can um, also get a sense of any variances that we see between the styles because we know there may be some. So let's go ahead and unbox the Cherry Merlot. I love the orchid box. It's so fresh and pretty with the yellow and this really pretty paper here. Oh wow, okay. 
That's really red, isn't it? It's actually really beautiful. It reminds me of some of the coppers, um, some deeper red copper. It looks like there's some lighter coppery tones in there, but we'll take a look at it. me recently, Tess, why do you always have to bend down? Well, I'm, I'm not sure why that's important, but um, I can't set a table in front here because my camera is backed up to the window and in the back of my set, I, there's no room, room for me to adjust here. So to have a table in front of me is absolutely impossible. But that really doesn't affect the quality of the information, does it? Okay, look at that, wow. Look at that beautiful, fine light density. It has the same kind of feathery cut, air dried, wavy look. Everything looks good here. Let me go ahead and remove the tag. But here's that machine made cap. I always think it's a pretty nice value. So you've got a nice velvet piece right at the front uh, with a hidden weft there to help make that hairline look a little more natural because there's no lace or monofilament here. But I find that their traditional caps or their open caps tend to have a little more value to me than some of their lace fronts. Um, I feel like Renee of Paris's lace fronts are just a little scratchy and shiny and inferior to some other brands but what you have to remember too is that typically their price is reflective of, of the materials that they use but these orchid styles typically tend to be a very affordable price point and then you've got some rose lace that are covering up the wefts on the top open wefted sides and back just a standard nape here and then you have strap type adjusters the pull straps Oh no, these are, oh my gosh, they're Velcro. I guess I didn't realize that on this piece that I'm wearing here. That is a really nice upgrade for a Rene of Paris because typically on a Rene of Paris cap, you'll see pull straps. And I don't like those. My favorite are the Velcro and then the pull straps. And my least favorite is the little, um, the little hook and pocket type of gestures that Aesthetica uses. Seems to be a decent amount of stretch. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply, and if it fits like this one here, it's just a perfectly average cap. So I would say anywhere from 21 and a quarter, which is my circumference, I was able to get a secure fit by adjusting, up through like 22 to 22 and a half being in that average range. I don't have the ability to measure or give any feedback for large circumferences. Wow, is this ever cute? It's just so cute. Now I can tell you that this cap fits me larger than the first one. Might not by a whole lot, but I'm just more sensitive to that. So um, I actually, it was rolling around so much that I took it back off and I had to adjust the, the gestures in as far as they could go on this one so that it would fit my petite average 21 and a quarter inch circumference securely. I always like to just wake up the fire by swirling around at the base, making sure my ear tabs are positioned. Same amount of permatease. It feels the same in terms of its density. Now this looks like it's very voluminous. It's really, it's really not. I'm just kind of fluffing up the fibers. Um, you can definitely work with this one for a lower profile. So on the Cafe Macchiato, I couldn't really see down into the appearance of permatease because the root, the root was uh, dark enough to help obscure that. I felt like that wasn't a problem at all. I don't know if that would be true though for a light unrooted shade. What really stands out here are the bangs on this style. They're wispy, wispy feather cut bangs. They're a bit undercut, just meaning some of these longer layers overlap the bang. Um, it's not too heavy of a bang. It's easy to wisp away off to the side. 
Um, you could wear it straight down depending on the length of your forehead. I really love these bangs. So let's talk about similar styles to this Leanna. Um, if you like, immediately this reminded me of the Aesthetica's Hunter. That's an open cap style, bangs, same texture, everything. Uh, Henry Margus Page. Let's see what else. We have the Raquel Welch's Stop Traffic. We have the New Wave by Teresa Lohr, and those are four styles that I can say that this would be a good match for. Uh, and they're all gonna vary in price and things like that. Now, one thing that did strike me, and this is right in the Rene of Paris family, is this would be an amazing Carly sister style too. Alva, Noriko Alva. Uh, Noriko Alva looks just like this, it's just straight. So this could be the curly, sort of the curly counterpart to Noriko Alva. That was a very, very popular style. I wanna break down this color Cherry Merlot for you, just real quick. Um, Cherry Merlot, Merlot is a beautiful auburn. Um, it's a brighter auburn shade. It really reminds me of some of the 3130 combinations that we see in the market today. It's really brilliant. It starts with what they say is um, a velvety red, which to me is just like a very dark uh, auburn red. And then in addition to that, we're gonna see some medium cherry auburn. And then I also see to my own eyes some finer highlights of a medium coppery red. So it's a combination, like a three-tone red combination. There's no root on this one. So let's try glasses with Rene of Paris's Liana. Perfect. I don't, these are very thick armed read air glasses and I don't sense any problem between the ear and the ear tab. It's comfortable and secure. I'll try to incorporate both colors into this styling segment. I'm just gonna manipulate this hair around so that you can get a sense of the really light feathery density and layering. Um, and also maybe be inspired to style your new Leanna. <laughs> 